بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو ایف سیکس آن لائن سپورٹ پروگرام آئی ایم یور ٹیچر زبیہ مرتضا فرام آرمی پبلک اسکولز اینڈ کالجز رحیم یار خان کینٹ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن دس ٹوٹوریل از فار کلاس تھری اینڈ سبجیکٹ از انٹیگریٹیڈ اسٹڈیز نیم آف دا ٹیکسٹ بک از اسٹیپنگ اسٹونس چیپٹر نیم از فوڈ اینڈ فیڈنگ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس topics food and feeding habits of animals and the importance of balanced diet and regular exercise resources required are textbook and internet introduction of the lesson is all living things need food to grow and live food gives them all the energy they need a diet refers to the kind of foods that someone chooses to eat objectives of the lesson are The students will be able to know that animals have different diets, that healthy living requires eating a balanced diet, and also they will be able to classify food into basic food groups and know about the correct postures. Do you know students that all living things need food? We need food to grow strong and healthy. We eat food to grow strong. and become healthy food gives us energy to work and play good food makes our bones and body strong like us animals also need food do you know students why animals need food animals need energy to move around and walk food gives them all the energy they need It means that animals need energy to move around, run and walk and they get their energy from the food. So they need food to get all the energy they need. What animals eat? Different animals are placed in different groups. These groups are herbivores. carnivores and omnivores now we will discuss these groups what are herbivores plant eating animals are called herbivores herbivores eat plants zebra elephant rabbit cow giraffe these are some examples of herbivores herbivores have broad and blunt teeth herbivores have broad and blunt teeth carnivores what are carnivores meat eating animals are called carnivores carnivores eat meat fox wolf lion shark tiger and alligator these are some examples of carnivores carnivores have long sharp and pointed teeth look at the picture omnivores omnivores eat both plants and meat they have combination of sharp pointed and broad teeth bear rats and human beings these are some examples of omnivores students we eat both plants and meat so we are omnivores now we will discuss why are balanced diet and regular exercise important what is a balanced diet Meal that includes the right amount of food from each group, food group is called a balanced diet. It means balanced diet includes the right amount of food from each food group. What are five main food groups? There are five main food groups. These are grains, meat, eggs and beans, fruits, vegetables and dairy products. 
is the importance of balanced diet. A balanced diet gives us the energy and nutrients we need. To maintain a balanced diet, we should eat food from all food groups. Exercise Why regular exercise is important? Exercise help us to build strong muscles and bones. Exercise keep us safe from falling sick easily. It makes us feel tired and help us sleep well. So exercise is very important to maintain a healthy life. Rest and sleep are also very important. You are active during the whole day. Your body needs rest. For about 9 hours, you should sleep early at night and get up early in the morning. When you get up after a good night's sleep, you feel refreshed. You should wear clean night clothes and sleep on a clean bed. Never cover your face while sleeping. Covering the face does not allow you to breathe fresh air. Always breathe through your nose and not through the mouth. Always brush your teeth before sleeping. Exercise play and rest keep you fit and healthy. Do you know students, small babies spend most of the time sleeping. They sleep up to 16 hours a day. Correct posture. Posture is the way you hold your body. It is the way you sit, stand and walk. If you don't have a good posture, you may have pain in your neck, shoulders, back and knee. Now, I am going to show you the pictures of some good postures and bad postures. Students, look at the correct posture. So, you should practice these good postures to be in good health. Here is an activity on test book page number 85. Circle the children including techno who are sitting or standing in the correct postures. Students, you will circle the children who are sitting or standing in the correct postures on test book page 85. Success criteria. Remember that animals need food to get energy. There are five main groups, food groups, about herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. And also remember that balanced diet, exercise and proper sleep keep us healthy. Here's your homework. So, syllabus worksheet number one. Learn and write vocabulary words from textbook page number 86. Students, you will learn and write the vocabulary words in your notebook. Write answer of question 1 and question 2 in notebook. Question 1 is, why do animals need food? Question 2, what type of teeth do omnivores have? These are the homework guidelines. Students will do homework in their notebooks and syllabus worksheet. They will clearly mention date and day. They will capture the clear picture of homework and send it to the teacher's personal number. Thank you.